Have you ever seen an airline pilot in a movie requesting to dump fuel and ever wondered why they are doing that? What's the problem, sir? We need to dump the fuel. Do it! If you were anything like me, you probably thought they dump fuel in case they crash, minimizing the chance for fire or an explosion from leaking fuel. The real reason they dump fuel is because the plane is too heavy to land, and dumping fuel is the quickest way to lose weight. Aircraft have two major types of weight limits, the maximum takeoff weight and the maximum structural landing weight. The maximum weight for takeoff is often considerably greater than the maximum weight for landing. This means an aircraft on a normal routine flight will be heavier due to carrying fuel to get the plane from point A to point B, allowing for various contingencies in flight, such as being redirected due to bad weather. All flights are planned to use fuel in transit and be ready to land under their maximum structural landing weight. If they arrive at a destination over the maximum landing weight, they need to either dump fuel or circle the airport and use up excess fuel to get under the weight limit. Fuel dumping or fuel jettison is a procedure used by aircraft in certain emergency situations before returning to the airport shortly after takeoff or before landing short of its intended destination, such as a redirection or an emergency landing. If an aircraft lands at more than its maximum allowable weight, it might suffer structural damage, or even, at worst, break apart on landing. At the very least, an overweight landing would require a thorough inspection for damage. When a fuel dump happens, the fuel is released at a high flow rate out of plain old pipe that projects into the airstream but it is being shoved out into a 200 plus miles per hour hurricane, and that spreads it into small droplets pretty quickly. So what happens to the fuel dumped by aircraft? Well, simply put, it does not reach the ground, it merely vaporizes in the air. Barring safety emergencies, fuel dumping is usually restricted by altitude. When a fuel dump is required, air traffic controllers assign the aircraft an airspace in which the fuel can be dumped if possible, above an unpopulated area. The minimum altitude is set at 1500 meters above ground, but most dumps are in fact carried out at an altitude of four to eight kilometers, allowing enough time for the fuel to evaporate. And most modern planes use systems to vaporize the stream as much as possible to help evaporation. Very few civilian aircraft have the ability to dump fuel, while virtually every military aircraft does. One of the coolest displays of a fuel dump is on fighter jets, doing what's called a dump and burn, where the pilot dumps fuel and ignites it on purpose using the plane's afterburner, which creates a spectacular flame. Combine that with high speed makes a popular display at air shows. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.